Hey guys, Atrion here uh, from Langrisser C, just with a quick uh, video about optimal farming for the Season of Giving event. So, um, as those of us in C are aware, we currently have two tabs available with re regards to rewards exchange, and you'll note that each tab has a specific focus. So, this the first tab, which is uh, Sherry's Gift, has a focus on Blue Mint. What I mean by focus is that uh, basically you need more of that material as compared to everything else and for Chris's gift you will see that the focus is on the yellow candy man obviously and intuitively if there are two more tabs left and two out of four materials have been focused on the last two tabs will basically feature those materials which haven't been focused on yet which will be the red cake as well as the green cocoa and this is relevant because the third tab is going to open up tomorrow with the sisters fight quest um, so where am I going with this? Basically, you know that there are four, sorry, there are eight level of 55 maps to farm from A, B, C, D to E, F, G, H. And what those basically are is that A is a single, let me, so let me just demonstrate. So 55A just gives you green cocoa, whereas 55E gives you both yellow candy man and green cocoa. Of course, it's not so simple as two is better than one. Basically what happens is that if you spend 10 stamina on 55A, assuming you're doing it solo with 5 bonus units, you will get 27 of a single type of material. However, if you do uh, the level 55E version with both Green Cocoa as well as the Yellow Candy Band, you will get 18 plus 14 of the other. So you, for example, if you have 3 bonus units for the Green Cocoa, and two bonus units for yellow candy man you actually will get 18 plus 14 which is 32 so obviously 32 is more than 27 and it is basically 18 percent more rewards for the same amount of stamina spent the other perk of having uh, farming the efgh maps instead is because they have two separate rows of focus units you can bring it actually makes assembling a team uh, a bit easier because there are a lot of uh, R heroes that most people don't actually uh, train up. So, for example, you know, okay, Leticia, Aaron, you know, you don't really farm, you don't really build up those heroes on the right unless you have no choice. So, if, if you're just looking at one row, most of the time people only build Sherry and Luna, and maybe Hind. You know, whereas if you're going for two rows, then you'll see there's a lot more units to choose from for you to choose uh, to make a cogent team. And what happens is basically you choose two from one row, two from the other row, and then you alternate in between the two just to make sure that your materials are balanced. Um, so I would really strongly encourage everyone to farm the EFGH maps because you will need all four materials. Just because the first two tabs only require two doesn't mean you won't need them for the rest of it. In fact, we have advanced data from the Chinese servers uh, telling us what the rewards and requirements will be on the third and fourth day and this is where the other tool uh, that is very very useful comes in and this is the event tracker uh, made by Edo T over at the Langrisser subreddit so this is what it looks like you know I will include a link in the video description below this for this to work you have to make a copy to your own Google Drive and what you can do is basically put in uh, what how much you've bought uh, put in whether you want to ignore specific items uh, and as well as put in your inventory of items that you currently have and what that does for you is it actually calculates for you how much more you need of each material as you can see I still have a long way to go as well as how many runs are required and how much stamina that will take in a team or solo okay do take note that the level 55 quotes here are just basically doing the ABCD map so EFGH will be more efficient than the 872 stamina you see so again, uh, just a shout out just to make sure everybody uh, farms everything because as you can see the third day which is Shafania's gift that there will be a focus on the red cake and on the last day which will be uh, for C will be this Sunday uh, the last tab will unlock which is Angelina's gift and there will be a focus on green cocoa so you know there's a focus on the blue mint, on the yellow candy man you can see that every column uh, is focused on you will need all four materials please uh, don't be fooled by the currently available rewards and just farm one. Uh, do the combined maps so that you are literally 18% more efficient and you're saving stamina. Right, so um, that's all I wanted to discuss in this video. Hope you guys found this helpful. 
and I hope uh, that uh, efficiency tip helps you to save some stamina over the next few weeks to come. Do remember that this will not be the only grinding event. We will be getting the Trails FC event next week, which is another grinding event, and therefore stamina requirements will go up for all these event quests. So it is important to be as efficient as you can to maximize the amount of stamina you have per day. All right, that has been enough, been enough rambling from me. Uh, Good luck for farming for us for this event as well as the next one. And as usual, I'll be putting up the event uh, video for uh, tomorrow's event once I wake up. Alright, Zethyron out.